Leave it. Leave it. Take it. That's it. Solve it. Oh, you moved that one over. I knew when we were getting maze that it was going to be super important to keep her mind very sharp. I really enjoy playing games with animals. When I was growing up, uh, we had some dogs and then I had a lot of cats in Pakistan where I grew up for a few years. And uh, I used to create little obstacle courses I remember in our front yard with tires and things of that nature, which is more fragility. But these games, these puzzles are so cool for dogs. So they don't just get their food in a bowl all the time. As humans, we just want them to like fit into our weird notions of how they should get their food. I get that. Of course, we do it too in a bowl, but it's also very important for her to seek out her food. This is what they do in nature. It's important for us to make sure their minds are as sharp as they're capable of being, and it doesn't take that much time. I mean, buy one of these things, put treats in it, watch your dog try to solve it, and do this like every few days or once a day. We probably do this every day or sometimes every other day and that's really cool for her she's you know she's learning to how like learning to flip over that thing that's so smart like open it remember like in week eight she learned or she showed us i don't know how she learned it put her hand like the raptor in Jurassic Park and opened up the baby gate. She hasn't done it since, but it was pretty much like, hey, this is what you got, a really smart cookie. I'm gonna open up the baby gate and then just show it to you so you know I can do this anytime. Look how she just moved that one over. She knows that there's another level where there's treats. And now she knows how to move these guys over, or flip them all open. Gotta keep their brains sharp, guys. Just like humans, we gotta keep ours sharp. Okay, now you're using it for teething. <laughs> Where's the next one? Good girl. Next one. Yeah. That's right. Get your mind short. Maze has been doing this for a few days now. She's so good at it. This is a great way to get a puppy tired by getting their brain tired and making them mentally very sharp. And you don't have to buy puzzles from the pet store online. You can also create things at home. Just do it yourself projects. This is a ginger container for sushi ginger. Put some high end kibble in it. Let them push it around the house, put a hole in the middle and the kibble or treats will just start falling out and let them use their nose. Let them use their brain power. You can also use a water bottle. And here's a water bottle. Take the cap off. I haven't taken the cap off right now. I will in a couple of seconds. Uh, but always watch your dog. I'm watching her. Always watch your dog with plastic. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, share this, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.